Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's theCUBE, covering EMC World 2015. Brought to you by EMC, Brocade, and VCE. Hey, welcome back everyone. We're live here in Las Vegas. This is theCUBE, live here in Las Vegas for EMC World 2015. It's our flagship program. We go out through the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with my co-host Dave Vellante. Our next guest is Chin Van, Senior Director, Global ERP Systems and Infrastructure at Callaway, Callaway Golf. Welcome back to theCUBE. Great, thank you. We, we had you on here. years ago. Um, innovative as always. First of all, we love Callaway. I had the big birth back in the day. Um, and uh, it was my first big performance driver. Absolutely. You know, it was, it was the, the Warbird, I think it was called, back in the day. Um, it worked for you. It, yeah, it, was, yeah. it, worked for, it doesn't yeah. ever work for me. I had a good back. Not, I had good. Not the club. I had a good extension. I was a little <laughs> younger back then. Now I need the older clubs and <laughs> high technology. What's new? Well, you know, we uh, uh, since then, you know, since the big put, uh, we've been innovating. You know, uh, we continue to innovate on uh, golf, our golf clubs and uh, our drivers and our woods and our lines of woods and our lines of drivers. So right you know, as of today, you know, we innovate the best driver, the best golf club to help you with your golf game. So that's what we do and that's what so we So you guys did a about. POC with Extreme IO. Describe what's going on there, what was involved, was it products and solutions, what was the mix? Uh, we, uh, when we're looking at Extreme IO, we were just looking to help, uh, the, we, we were just like uh, dabbling into our flash technology. And we're hoping that flash technology has come down to a price point with its tremendous speed to help us improve in some of our business processes to help uh, our business users make uh, you know, real-time business decisions to help drive our business forward and help us sell more golf clubs. So we have a lot of buzz around Extreme IO, its performance. Did you guys have a good experience with it? Talk about some we, of the performance uh, and impact. Yeah, we uh, we had a great experience uh, with Extreme IO in terms of performance. But uh, when we look at Extreme IO performance, there's many flash players out there that's in the same uh, uh, in the same field as Extreme IO. But uh, Extreme IO really bring us a lot of value in performance and help us deliver the, uh, the faster reporting back to our end users. Uh, but not only does it deliver performance, uh, Extreme IO give us other benefits, such as you know that reducing cost of total cost of ownership of powers and coolants, and also give us the flexibility to do more things with our Extreme IO that we uh, were able to do with our other storage sub subsystem, which is also EMC uh, VMAX that we're using in of itself, which was a great storage platform also, but we felt that the Extreme IO is the right time for us to move to Extreme IO and move to its flash technology. So it wasn't just the product, there's a solution. Obviously, SAP environment. Explain more about the SAP environment. What particular things were you guys leveraging across the solutions? Um, we use uh, most uh, of uh, SAP product offering, most of the packages. We use our ECC, uh, our ECC system, which is our core OLTP system that's online transactions. Uh, we use Business Warehouse, uh, which is our uh, reporting system that gives uh, um, uh, real-time business analytics reporting to our end users. And we also use APO, which is a planning system that takes all the online transactional data and forecasts uh, our demand so that what we need to sell, where we need to adjust, uh, just so that we can react to current business conditions. Jay, can we talk some more about your Flash uh, deployment. Um, yeah, we've been hearing for quite some time now, Flash is going to change the world. Prices are coming down faster than spinning disk. It looks like Flash is beginning to change the world. Has Flash changed your world? It has changed. It ha it's changed my world. It's starting to change my world. How, let me put it that way. Uh, when I first look at Flash, I just look at it just for performance. But as it turns out, there's inherent benefits to Flash that I didn't realize I can take advantage of with the Extreme I.O. Uh, for example, I can uh, reduce my, uh, my storage footprint uh, by taking advantage of deduplication and compression uh, that is uh, available with the Extreme I.O. So I can reduce my storage spend. Uh, I can uh, make uh, fresh production copies to my dev test QA systems without having to 
uh, spend equal amount on storage to stand up a QA dev test system. And I can do it quickly. Uh, it's simple to manage. So there's many uh, inherent benefits from Extreme IO that we realized from where we started. So there's um, but there are more possibilities uh, in the future that we're going to explore and try to leverage Extreme IO. And with, like you said, with um, uh, with the price of Flash coming down and the price, we can see the future where there could be a future where we can leverage all Flash system within our environment to uh, so, run our enterprise. So you potentially see the quote unquote all Flash data center coming? I can uh, definitely see that. I'm, ho I'm actually hoping and wishing for it that the price point will come down. That you know I mean because it makes uh, it makes management um, of storage administration and database administration that, those type of administration that I have to uh, to um, allocate resources to those will eventually go away because uh, the the, the IO bottleneck will no longer be there. Well, I have an all flash laptop. I want to so that That's great. A, Don't do you love the reboot? Status. I would never. All right, all right, I love the reboot. I would never go back. Um, but obviously the data center environment is slightly more compl complex. But I want to explore this notion of developer uh, impact and particularly the whole notion of copy services and how that works mm -hmm. with Flash, generally Extreme IO specifically. So thinking about a spinning disk world, you, everybody's making copies. Mm -hmm. You're loading up data warehouses, you're doing data protection, you're doing local remote replication. Um, you're giving copies to developers, and those copies all reside on spinning disk, and you can only support so many use cases with a single copy on a spinning disk. Right. With Flash, my understanding is that you can support many, many more use cases with a single copy, data sharing, right. if you will. Did you experience that, and can you sort of help us add some right. color to that uh, story? Here's where I go back to your question of, you know, when you asked me about Flash and what are the possibilities. Uh, have we realized the possibilities? That, but I can see endless possibilities, and one of them is what you just addressed right now about dev copy. Uh, with spinning disk before, what we used to control, especially in our SAP environment, we control how many dev systems that we uh, refresh on a yearly basis. We control how many QA systems that we give to our uh, testers on a yearly basis. We control how many dev systems they can have or they can have any ad hoc request. We'll say, hey, on spinning disk, it'll take too slow to restore and things like that. But I am already working in my scenarios on now I can, in, uh, I can give my developers, my testers, whatever, whatever they ask for without incurring additional costs, leveraging the Extreme IO to deliver that type. Uh, dev copy, uh, QA copies for tests, pre-production uh, system so they can run tests before they can go live. There's the possibility of endless. Uh, just a troubleshooting system, just as they asked for, because there's a business in narrow that's happening in production right now that they don't want to uh, jeopardize the production system. They want a copy production and so they can test right away. So the possibilities are endless with me with those type of giving our developers more tools so that they can uh, uh, help move our business forward by developing more uh, uh, you know, application and testing more scenarios um, uh, can be more agile uh, and flexible. So in that scenario, a developer could use essentially a live copy of data yes. for his or her development effort. Mm -hmm. um, Help us understand why that's so important. Well, it's, well, our current state right now, our developer, when they start in the dev system, so they can have a code, they can think of all kinds of scenarios that, you know, they say, what if scenario, what we tested. The problem is, they can build simulation of real-time customer data of what they think in their head will prove, but when it goes to the production, it didn't, some of the scenarios, they hasn't vetted out. Uh -huh. Uh, because maybe they skip a step or this scenario they didn't think of or things like that. With real-time data, we have so many vendors, customers, materials, combinations that you have to hit certain situations before you can realize that, uh, that this scenario come about. So they've been asking for real-time data all the time, but we've never been able to give it to them because of spinning disk and the time it takes and the cost of uh, producing a similar production copy. So, obviously that has ripple effects on developer productivity. Um, and you're saying it's early days for you, you really haven't 
begun to tap the potential here, is that right? Yes, we haven't begun to tap the potential. We recently rolled out our, uh, our SAP production system uh, recently, uh, and we recently go live with it, but uh, we are planning to definitely start leveraging these technologies with the HCMIO and deliver more value back to our developers. Are you a HANA customer? Uh, we are not a HANA customer yet, but we are thinking about HANA. We're looking at HANA uh, for the future. What are you thinking? I mean, what? Where does it fit? Um... Uh, we definitely see a fit uh, for SAP HANA. Uh, it's it's sort of a slippery slope for us right now, uh, and that's why CMIO at this time at this place. Uh, right now is perfect for us because it'll give us speed without having to move into the HANA space right now. Yeah, so this, that's disruptive for right, you that's disruptive. to do that. Great, um, we're getting the, 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 the high sign here, but the, my last question is, so what's on your roadmap? What do you want to accomplish in the next 6, 12, 18 months for your shop? Well, you know, uh, as always, you know, as I'm uh, responsible for the uh, IT uh, uh, for infrastructure for our company, cost is always big on my mind. So as long, I will continue to look at ways to consolidate, ways to optimize, ways to be more efficient. And as technologies enable uh, my team to be more efficient while while reducing cost, it's, it's a win-win for all of us. Yeah. Yeah. You get products out faster. I mean, your business is extremely competitive. Yes, right. definitely is, is, a, is, a, is definitely a very competitive environment. We are just you know, you know out to win to be the number one uh, player out there in the woods character, in the irons character, and we want to gain market share back. And as we gain market share back, that's actually a win for our company. Do you guys use any big data to figure out the best clubs for guys like me, what I'm shooting? <laughs> that is in our roadmap. It is in our roadmap, because that's one of the things that I was just talking with a friend about, I was like, you know, my swing isn't as good as it used to be, but the technology's gotten significantly on golf clubs. Right, uh, one of the challenges is, uh, for our company, is collecting consumer uh, information. Uh, and what, as soon as we find ways to collect uh, the consumer information of players' golf, like you and myself, where they go to the golf pros and the golf pros does a fit in or does an analysis, that those type of information will come back to us and then we are thinking about leveraging those type of information and say, hey, you know, you're slicing here, maybe this type of driver with this type of adjustability will help you fix, uh, fix that. I see all kinds of possibilities just right now. Drones tied to the clubs, Internet of Things, sensor tracking, all this is that good That is stuff. actually in our in our roadmap. We actually have a product that uh, that just you just fit right at the end of your club, and then it will it will track your swing, track your speed, track your green and regulation, and then have be have able to have those information available to our players so that can know how they do and how they can improve yeah. on and how it can help them during their game. That's sweet, and real time certainly is perfect information. Uh, cure that slice right there in the course. Jane, thanks so much for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it. Callaway Golf, um, SAP Environments, Extreme IO, a lot of goodness, total solution. Here inside theCUBE, live at EMC World 2015, this is theCUBE, we'll be right back after this short break.